Hello there my crafty friends. Uh, this is Ingrid. I'm coming to you um, with a video to show you some of the projects I worked on. Um, some of these projects I've done in the course of six or seven months. Uh, I've been pretty sick so I haven't been able to do any like major projects. Um, I have done several other projects that I'll show you in another video but um, let me just show you here what I've done so far. Okay, so in this um, box here, I created this from the Pretty Packages cartridge on uh, the Cricut Design Space. And as you can see, it's a very useful box. It's not just pretty. I use the DCWB papers. They are my papers of choice because I like the weight of the papers and I also like, I also love the designs. I think it's so beautiful. Look at that. That paper comes embossed and glittered. And it's two different designs here. Okay, so now um, these flowers are also created from the Cricut. I um, used my flower shaping tool on that. I also inked the edges, added glitter, and added those small beads you see there. As far as the flourish goes, that's from a diamond dies die. And this fleur de lis here at the end, that's from a Spellbinders die. And then this little white uh, doily type banner, that's from a Martha Stewart punch. Okay, so that is that. Then this one here was also created from the Cricut Design Space Pretty Packages. The flower cluster is also created from the Cricut Design Space. Uh, it comes with the, um, with the leaves as well. But it's not from pick Pretty Packages, and I just know it's Design Space. So this one, I use the Anna Griffin paper, and it's very, very sturdy. Um, this box here is a little bit bent because I really uh, dig into this all the time and abuse it when I'm in a rush. So I have a lot of little die cuts here that I use often if I want to make a quick card or something. And um, so there it is. And then these are little rolled roses with uh, dew drops in the centers. They were originally clear, and I took my Copic markers and marked and and um, colored some of them in different shades of pink. Okay, so that's that. That's that. And then this here is a set of flowers that I also created from the Cricut cartridge, uh, from the Cricut Design Space. I um, used my flower shaping tools and I shaped the flowers uh, differently so that they come out uh, looking very unique. Uh, different types of rhinestones. On this one I have some vellum behind it. Um, here are some rhinestones. And all of these have been glimmer misted, and this one here has some glitter in the center, uh, some stickles I mean. And the shape behind it is also from the Cricut. This little flower here is a work in progress. I'm also working on that using the Cricut. This here, um, I did not use the Cricut for this. Um, I mean I used the Cricut for the flower. The flower here was made using the Cricut. It's uh, really glittered up. Um, the edges are, are, are inked. And again, the same um, bead work. Put some beads in the center. And Copic colored the bud so that it looks um, really dark in the center. But these uh, die cuts that you see there, those I believe they are lawn fawn dies, stitch dies. So I created that. Uh, that's a card. Let's see if I can see if I can lift it up. As you can see, that's a card. Very pretty. The background paper is uh, DCWV. Okay, and now these flowers that you see here, 
They are made using a diamond dies die. Um, but these are sort of special to me because these are made out of uh, paper napkins. You know, paper towels. You know, like bounty. And what I've done is I um, glimmer misted these first. Let that dry. And then I came in with this product. Let me just show you. This product here is called Glamour Dust. And this particular color here, Ice Crystal, this is beautiful. It's a very fine glitter, as they say, glitter paint, because you just have to put it on with a brush. But it is fantastic. So I, I loaded it up with that. I loaded the paper up with that and I let it dry overnight and then when it was dry then I put it through my dies and then I started to shape them. But as you can see the shine and the glimmer and the glitter is just beautiful. I have some tool sandwiched in between some of them and different centers that I've used. And they're very sturdy because that particular glue makes it makes it very, makes for a very sturdy flower. Okay, so that is that. Okay, and then for this, I also made some flowers here. This here is just a um, rosette that I just made myself, just playing around. And then the center was cut from the Cricut. And I have, let me see if the camera will focus. I have here some, what do you call this? I think it's called glass glitter or something like that. And then, okay, let me just get this. Okay, and then the rest of these flowers are made with the Cricut. But this one right here, this vellum flower, which is so beautiful and shapes so easily, that was from a diamond dies. Okay, so that was that. And um, I made this paper bow. Let me just get this out of the way. I made this paper bow using the Cricut. I think that's also pretty packages, by the way. Okay, and then, let me move this out of the way. I made this card for um, a friend of mine has a little toddler who's turning two in a week. And I used my Cricut Explore. I found this um, image on Google Images, clip art. And then I glittered her up, you know, cut her out with the scan and cut feature. I cut the butterflies also from the Cricut, as well as the banner. I did the uh, cut and the write because it wrote the happy birthday for me. And I cut the, the card base with the cutout that says two. And lots of butterflies and this really pretty label there. And then I just wrote something. Okay, so that is that. Now, let me move on to some other things. Okay, so here is a flower, I mean a, a card that I made. Um, this was a sort of like a prototype for Mother's Day. Um, I ended up making a different one. I'll have, I have another video out on that. And it is one of these uh, easel cards. That just stand up and you know you could either lay them down or have them stand up and this was using a spellbinders die and then these dies here I forget what company these dies are from uh, these um, stitched rectangles might be La La Land but I'm not sure and then this was a, I did a lot of stamping on stamping. 
So I have the butterfly, um, the background stamping, then I stamped on top of the background, then I stamped again and then cut the flower and put it up on pop dots to get dimension. I Copic colored the flowers and it's different stamping in different uh, inks. There's another another butterfly and then I stamped a sentiment back here in this really beautiful pearlescent ink. Um, I know it's Sukuniko but I don't remember the color. And then here another die cut set of die cuts with some stamping. Okay so that's that's that. Uh, here is another card that I made very dimensional. I was watching a video from Gina K from Gina K Designs and I absolutely fell in love with this um, embossed butterfly uh, card that she made. I didn't have the stamps. I didn't have the embossing powder that she has. I didn't have a lot of what she had, but I had um, my own sets of butterflies um, and and my own sets of butterfly stamps. So I just I just made my own, uh, but taking inspiration from her because her card came out really stunning. So here, card base, black background. And lots of butterflies that I cut out. Uh, I fussy cut these. I embossed them with diff with some of my different embossing powders. And really, they just came out stunning. And then this background here was cut out from the Cricut. Okay, so this card uh, is very dimensional, by the way. I don't know if you can see. Very, very dimensional. Okay, so that's that. Oh, that's that. Here is another uh, card that I made. I was playing around with some of my um, uh, stamps. I have some really old uh, clear stamps and I wanted to see how they would stamp out and they did fairly well. The background here is Recollections cardstock. It's pretty nice and thick. Then I have all of these um, popped up, these layers. And let me see if I can zoom in. I've got some glitter and I um, colored these with some different markers that I have and then this last piece here I cut it twice and I, uh, I embossed I embossed this um, butterfly wing and then I taped I uh, adhered it onto the card so that's that Then I have another really simple card. And it's just very glittery, very shimmery. And this is a shimmer um, embossing powder that I have. I actually have it handy so I can show it to you. And it's from Recollections. And let's see what the color is. I'm trying to... Oh, I can't really see. Let's see. Well, this is the, um, the number, in case anybody's interested. And that is a glittered embossing powder. So I use the background I uh, damask if, if, and then I just um, adhered the layers on some of my stamps oh, 
Okay, let me just get, uh, get myself together here. Here's another card that I made. Uh, this was just pretty much using some of my scraps. Um, Uh, yeah, this is just using some of my scraps and this really beautiful